ladies and gentlemen, this is a chop saw. This is the saw that we're going to use most often here in the scene shop. It's a very simple saw. It's a powered saw, so you have to plug it in and you just bring it down, make your cut and bring it back up. When you're using the chop saw, you're gonna need glasses. I wear glasses normally and your eyeglasses will protect you from any splinters or dust or anything like that. However, if you want safety goggles to go over your glasses, we do have those as well. It's not just because of COVID-19 that I'm wearing my mask. I also choose to wear a mask when I'm working with the saw because I don't want to inhale sawdust all day long. Also, hearing protection is strongly recommended if you're going to be working with any of the power tools just to preserve your hearing long term. If for some reason you don't want to wear the earmuff style, we have earplugs that we can pass out and you would just put these earplugs in your ears. So two forms of hearing protection depending on what works best for you. So I'm going to put on my hearing protection and then we're going to move on to how to use the saw. So when you're using the chop saw, the trigger is right here and we just pull the trigger and that turns on the saw. As we bring the saw down, you notice that the guard will rotate and that is in order to protect our hands, protect our face or anything like that from any debris that might be kicked up as we're using the saw. Before you make your cut, just get in the habit of testing the saw's motion. And if for any reason this guard hangs up or doesn't move properly, just find myself or Miss Morgan and let us know and we'll show you how to fix that guard. Most of the time, you won't have a problem with the guard, but every so often you get sawdust or splinters in the mechanism and it kind of sticks. So just come find us and we'll help you. So as you're getting ready to make your cut, you put your wood in there and you just push it tight against the back gate. So you'll take your left hand and you'll use that to secure the wood. All you want to do is just hold it with just gentle pressure towards this rear fence. You'll take your right hand, you'll pull the trigger. Once the saw is spinning, then you bring it down and make your cut. And once it's all the way back up, we'll let go of the trigger. And I'll demonstrate what that looks like. And we have made a cut with the circular saw. So now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make cuts other than zero degrees like we just did. We're going to set and we're going to make a 45 degree cut. We're going to loosen the retaining knob. We're going to push down on this lever and then we swing the saw over to where it says 45 degrees. The saw will click into place at 45 degrees, at 30 degrees, at 15 degrees, and zero degrees. And that's either direction. So when we swing over here to the 45, you heard it snap into place. After it snaps into place, just go ahead and tighten it back down with this knob. And now you're ready to make a 45 degree cut. You place the board in here and you hold it against the back fence. And you make your cut. So this is the 45 degree angle that we just cut. This was the zero degree angle that we cut earlier. 
So now we're going to make a 45 degree cut in the other direction. So we're going to loosen up the knob. We're going to press down and we're going to rotate all the way over to the other side. And once we hear it click, we know it's set. We tighten this up to lock it down. So now we're ready to make a 45 degree cut in the other direction. And we're going to position the saw so that we can make a 45 degree cut along this line. We're aiming for this spot where those two cuts join up. So what I'll do is I'll just test it out by bringing the saw down and just making sure that the saw lands where I want it to land, and it does. So Miss Morgan's gonna hold this, and then I'm going to start the blade, make the cut, bring it back up, and release the trigger. So now you see we have created an arrowhead. 45 degree cut in one direction, 45 degree cut in the other direction gives you an arrowhead.